Bucks, go Bucks. Go Bucks, go Bucks. Go Bucks, go Bucks. First and goal, we gotta tough it out. Get in the end zone and call a hot route. O line of beast, Mike Brown the street. You have Humphreys run right underneath. You know it's Bucks ball, we got the hardest D. Bring the pressure to the QB. You know it's routine, we got hard grease. Welcome to Tampa, welcome to Tampa. Go Bucks, go Bucks. Reppin' for my team. Go Bucks, go Bucks. You know we want the rain. Go Bucks, go Bucks. Welcome to the Bay. Go Bucks, go Bucks. Tune in with Buccaneer Blade. Doug's back, we can run the toss. Mike Evans looking like Randy Moss. And Damon's making play after play on the defense. You can't stop Levante. On my boy McCoy, who you can't avoid. At the Raymond James, you about to feel the pain. If you a Bucks fan, make a lot of noise. If you a Bucks fan, make a lot of noise. Go Bucks, go Say good morning, everybody. It's your host, Mr. Buccaneer Blake Sports. Mr. Buck and Blake, we're talking about Buck and Blake sports. Um, as I said before, I told you I wasn't always going to do live video shows all the time. You know, it takes time editing and doing all that stuff, you know, and getting the time where I can focus and all that. So I told you I was going to do audio shows now. And here we are. So, with that being said... Let's talk about what's been going on in camp, what everybody's been talking about lately and things of that nature. Let's we'll start with the uh, <clears throat> the Jameis Winston with the, the knee brace on. Yes. Um, Joe Bucks fan, a lot of the other Bucks beat riders and stuff like that. All right. They, a lot of other quarterbacks wear braces on their, their plant leg that they throw with to prevent injury, soreness, tweaking, and things of that nature. I mean, after you saw what happened to Teddy Bridgewater um, last offseason, how you could do something like that to your knee without having any, any type of physical contact, I think you can't undermine any aspect that you could help yourself in any way. And it's just a good precautionary measure to ensure that you have your quarterback, your franchise quarterback for the season. It's a it's a tragic thing that happened to Teddy Bridgewater. You know, the guy, the quarterback out of Louisville and plays for the Minnesota Vikings, and then they had to pick up Sam Bradford. And then I've heard reports that, uh, uh, you know, I haven't heard anything much else. Oh, I heard older reports, you know, who knows how this might affect Teddy Bridgewater's career. But it's just a, it's a shame, and... I don't blame Jameis Winston and Tampa Bay Buccaneers for taking taking extra precautionary measures to ensure your quarterback will be there. Uh, but yeah, Winston's been looking fine in camp. Uh, you know, testing people deep, giving receivers a chance in one on one, seeing what our defensive backs got against uh, uh, some of our formidable receivers, uh, Godwin. Uh, Mike Evans and uh, Deshaun Jackson and even um, O.J. Howard. O.J. Howard has, uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, Mike Evans is having fun. Uh, Deshaun Jackson's been looking good out there, uh, giving people a hard time, making people better, chasing his speed down, getting a, a, a taste of of what, of what faster receivers look like. It, it helps all around with competition level across the board, makes other receivers that are slower step up, makes defensive backs that are slow want to step up. Um, you're going to have to step up to be better on this team. Um, the receivers are always looking good. Chris Godwin's still looking good. Can't wait to see what everybody looks like, you know, against live competition. Um, right now, Chris Godwin has been the standout guy, uh, along with uh, O.J. Howard. A lot of the videos I watch with O.J. is just his catch radius is just ridiculous. Being 6'6", and, and then you got that catch radius like that, it's just going to be very hard for defensive backs and linebackers. What the issue is going to be is uh, def- uh, bigger or slower, un- a more unathletic linebackers are going to have a hard time uh, matching up with his size, and um, undersized corners are going to have a hard time uh, matching, matching, matching his size as well. Linebackers might be able to get him physically in the body, but athletically, they he might beat them. 
uh, in the corners will just be vice versa. Uh, his size will, get, will help him get over him. You body him out like a basketball, jump ball, bat, boxing people out type thing. Um, Doug Martin, who knows, like I said, at the end of uh, the three week, uh, three weeks that he's cut, uh, that he's uh, suspended, you can still release him and not pay a roster bonus for him and we not get hurt. We not get hurt in the salary cap department because we won't have we won't be dead money. We can cut them and uh, be free. It all depends, I guess, what our backfield looks like while he's in his while he's away. I guess that's the interesting. I mean, Doug Martin, Martin can play in the preseason. We'll get a look at that uh, along with some of the other guys. But the first uh, three weeks with our guys running backs, it's going to be you know a trial and error type thing. And even though uh, he comes off a of suspension. Uh, there's no guarantee that he'll get his job back. So, I mean, it's, we'll see what happens. Doug could be traded if somebody's running back gets hurt. You know, we might be sitting in the driver's seat for a situation for a trade and pick up some something extra out of it. It's just, you know, it's all wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. That's all you can really do at this point. And that's why I really try to get too repetitive with videos and coming like, oh, check this out, check this out. Like, and, uh... Like I said, first day in pads, Cam Brayton, O.J. Howard shined. Um, things still been quiet. Uh, the other running back uh, out of the Boise State, I'm having a brain fart right now. I can't think of his name. And things been quiet. Jack West Rogers has been doing his thing. It's just everybody's just doing the thing, working and getting better each day. Uh, I'm, I'm just like Robert Ayers. Robert Ayers said it best. I'm not gonna get overhyped and say our team has gotten better and not wearing pads and running around in shorts. It's just, just kind of just silly to say. And I'll just leave it at that. But I can say that each each practice, each day, we're getting better. We're learning more, coaches, players, and everybody. And that's, and that's really all you can do in the end is just work each and every day to get better and keep each other healthy and, and try to avoid injuries. And, and as long as they do that going into the season, I'll be satisfied. And then during the season, there'll be another topic of execution, finishing, and things of that nature. Um, but like I said, guys, this, this is for our first audio, Buck and Blake Radio. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting. We'll do some more like these because these radios are a little easier. I don't have to do video editing like I said before. I can get a lot more stuff out. And uh, you can just, can just check me out while you're driving and uh, listening to me on the radio. But thank you guys on this as we always do, even on the radio show. You're the master of everything. What you do with your life, what you do with it, is entirely up to you. Thank you guys. God bless and uh, fire them cannons.